Yes, good afternoon po sa aking mga kapatid sa Panginoon. And uh, sino pong nagkaganak at nandito kayo ngayon? Yung mga kasama ko po dito. And then, um, narinig din po tayo at napapanood sa Philippines. Sa Philippines ay 9.30, almost 9.30. Magandang gabi po sa Philippines. Kila Pastor um, uh, Chris at ang kanya pong family and everybody na nasa Philippines po. Napapanood din po tayo sa Doha, same time. <laughs> Tsaka sa... Uh, sa Albali Al Sa'il, sa Matar Kadim, sa Bisa'il, and everybody here, maraming salamat po sa inyo pong pagpunta. At uh, nagaganap po ako ngayong hapon sapagkat hindi lang po tayo ang nandito. Kasama po natin ang Panginoon. Amen? And my task is to welcome everybody. Maraming salamat po sapagkat uh, buhay po ang Panginoon sa ating kalagitnaan. Uh, gusto ko na pong basahin yung nasa uh, nasusulat na salita ng Diyos sa uh, 1 Peter Chapter 5, ang context po nito is about the elders of the church and those who are pastoring din po. To the elders among you, I appeal as a fellow elder ang sabi ni Paul, a witness of Christ's sufferings and one who also will share in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds, shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, serving as overseers, not because you must, but because you are willing, as, God's, as God wants you to be, uh, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples of the flock. At hindi lang po tayo um, nagsaserve without the purpose. The chief shepherd will also uh, appear. Darating po ang chief shepherd. We are uh, under shepherds, but the chief shepherd will also appear. And pag nangyari po yun, pagdating niya, you will receive, we will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. So yun po yung ating glorious hope na as we tend, as we feed the flock, tayo din po ay awaiting for the chief, chief ano po, uh, shepherd na who is to come. At ang, yun po ay ang ating Panginoong Diyos. So maraming salamat po. I welcome you all. And maging ano po tayo, maganak po tayo that... Uh, the Lord is installing and raising up leaders na who will be um, the instrument of the Lord para matupad po yung kanyang mga, ano po, yung mga plano dito sa bansa na ito at saka to take care and feed the flocks. And nakita po natin yung willingness ng ating mga kapatid. Mamaya makikita po natin sila. And uh, I encourage you to be in the atmosphere of um, yung laying of hands to them at saka yung atmosphere of worship and encouraging one another to everybody. Lalo na, lalo, lalo na po sa ating mga kapatid, ating mga pastors na itatalaga po ngayon as shepherds, as pastors of local churches. Maraming salamat po and magandang hapon. As we worship the Lord, I encourage you po to be in the atmosphere of worship. Maraming salamat po. God bless. Amen. So ang lahat po ay naniyahan. Uh, tayo pong lahat ay tumayo. And let us, uh, we will uh, start our uh, installation service this afternoon. Can we give God the best praise that He deserves? Hallelujah. This is one of the first gatherings that we have after a long time. So I pray that uh, everyone is excited po sa gagawin ng Lord uh, this afternoon. Amen po ba? Amen. Sige po, once again, let us give God the best praise that He deserves. Let us pray. So together with the Spirit, Sikharaba Baba. Rapa Baba Baba Sikharaba. Lipra Kashpa Karaba Baba Sikharaba Bahade. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We glorify your name. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, hallelujah. Panginoon, salamat o Diyos. Minsan pa, hallelujah for this wonderful day, for this wonderful day. Lord, that you have made, Lord God. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Lord God, because this is the day, Panginoon, na itinakda mo, Panginoon, Lord, for your servants, for your ministers, Lord God, for the new leaders to be installed, O God. And Lord, hallelujah, ikaw lamang, Panginoon, ang patuloy na maitaas. Ikaw lamang, Panginoon, ang patuloy na maluwalhati, O Dios, hallelujah, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Panginoon, Lord God. And Almighty Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, that your spirit be with us, Lord God, this afternoon, Lord God. May your spirit continuously lead us and empower us, Lord God. Lord, hallelujah, as we, Lord, uh, as we pray, Panginoon, Lord God, as we gather today, Panginoon, as we lay our hands, Lord God, Lord, sa mga uh, bagong itatalagang mga sector pastors, Panginoon, Lord God, sa pangunguna po ng aming uh, 
Head pastor, Lord, pastor, long, Lord God, we just pray, oh, oh Lord God, hallelujah. Lord, that you continuously empower us, equip us, anoint us, Lord God, Amen. hallelujah, that we may be able, Lord God, to perform, Lord God, the task that has, that we have been mandated, Panginoon, Lord God, to feed the flock, to lead the flock, Lord God, hallelujah. Panginoon, salamat, Lord God, for this uh, wonderful day, Lord God. We just honor you and worship you, Lord God, and we declare, Lord God, the victory of this day. And we acknowledge your precious presence, Lord God, in this place, Lord God, hallelujah. Lord, even for those who are watching right now, Lord, hallelujah, uh, wherever they are, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, nawa sila ay maging kaisa namin sa Espiritu, Lord God, hallelujah, and Lord, we honor you in this day, Lord God, as we honor, Lord, the uh, two sector pastors, Lord God, that will be installed today, Panginoon. Lord, salamat, Lord God, and we commit everything that we will do, Lord God, hallelujah, this afternoon, Lord God, and may your glory May your presence, Lord God, manifest, O oh God, in this place, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Cover us with your most precious blood. No works of the enemy shall prevail, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we pull down every stronghold, O oh God. Hallelujah. That it sought itself above the knowledge of Jesus, Lord God. And may your glory alone, Panginoon, ang siyang magliwanag sa aming Panginoon sa hapong ito, Lord God. Salamat po, Lord God. Lord, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Are you ready to worship God? Amen. Can I hear a shout of hallelujah? Amen. Wherever you are in the Philippines, in Doha, Qatar, pwede mo makisigaw mo ang pangalan ni Jesus sa hapon na ito. Jesus! Isaiah chapter 14, gaya po ng isang agila, tayo ay lilipad. Amen. Hindi ka mapapagod dahil kasama-sama mo ang Diyos sa hapon na ito. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Let's fly with the wings of an eagle this morning.
today, Father God. For you want of your presence in your midst of your people, Father God. Saan man sila narulog ngayon, Panginoon, ang iyong mga anak, Father God. Or sino man, Panginoon, ang nakasumpong ng live Zoom na ito, Panginoon. I know you are speaking to them right now, God. Ngayon pa lamang, Panginoon, kumikilis na ang iyong banal na presensya sa bawat isa. Sa pagda ko sila naroon sa mga ito. Lord, we pray today, Father God, as we install leaders, Father, that we will soar with the wings of an eagle with you, O God. Diliman kami kaya ng isang angila kasi nagtitiwala ang isang angila. And as we offer our lives today, Father God, as these people, Father God, offer their lives to you, may their lives be touched by your presence today, Father God. Lord, hindi kami aalis dito, Panginoon, na hindi talatala ang mong presensya. Oh my God. 
but your call to discipleship, your call to leadership, Lord, is really a challenging one, oh God. Hindi madali, Panginoon. Subalit na nga po ka, Panginoon. Sa Hebreo, Panginoon, sinabi mo, magpakatatag tayo sa aking pag-asa at huwag mag-alim langan pa sapagkat tapat ang nangako sa atin. Tunay na mapangahawakan namin ang iyong mga pangako sa kabila ng paghihirap, sa kabila ng pagsuko. Ikaw ang nangako.
you can open with me on first Samuel chapter chapter 16 verse 1 to 13 Tayo po tumayo for the reading of the word. Now the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill your horn with oil, and go. I am sending you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, where I have provided myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. But the Lord said, Take a half heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you that you shall do. You shall anoint for me the one I name to you. So Samuel did what the Lord said, and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and he said, Do you come peaceably? And, she, and he said, Peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourself and come with me to sacrifice. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. So it was when he came that he looked at Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature. Because I have refused him, for the Lord does not see as man sees. For a man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by, and she said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen this. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, There remains yet the youngest. And there he is, keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. So he sent and brought him in. Now he was ready, with bright eyes and good looking. And the Lord said, Arise. Anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. It's time to share, to encourage, Father God. Today's installation of your chosen people, Father pastors. I pray that the hearts of each and every one, Panginoon, as they to read, as they to listen, Father God, ano pang gusto mong sabihin sa amin sa ako ito? Let your Holy Spirit overpower me, Panginoon. Overpower my preparation, Lord. Itago mo ko sa malikuran, Panginoon. At ikaw, mang mo sa true Holy Spirit is after me, Lord. I give you the glory. For the honor of the praises, Panginoon. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Punan po mga Sa ating bunabasa, nakita po ninyo when Samuel, ang Panginoon sabi niya, I will be anointing a one king of Israel. Kasi ayaw ko na sa all. So marami po, pumunta siya sa bahay ni Jesse. At nakita po niyo mga pito ang naglinya doon. At may isa, walang napili. Mayroon sa atin po, minsan nakikita natin, we are looking at the capability ng tao. Parang minsan, oh ito, magaling ito. Magaling sa Biblia yan. Graduate ng Bible School. Siguro, karapat dapat yan. Let's look at this, the first thing that I want to share, the three things. Three insights I want to share on this passage that I read this afternoon. Number one, the Lord sees at the heart. The Lord does not see the, the appearance. Hindi po tinitignan kung guwapo ka. Hindi tinitignan kung magaling ka. Hindi tinitignan kung ikaw ay may edukasyon. Ikaw ay mataas ang pinag-aralan. But the Lord sees your heart. Your willingness to serve the Lord. 
Yan po nakita ng kay David. Kala nila si David wala lang kasi nandun sa field. Parang gusgusin, baka, walang, walang kalam-alam. Siguro, hindi pa siguro, ma, hindi pa nag-aaral kasi puro kambing. Meh. Ito ba? Ang kanyang kasama. But the Lord has seen the heart of David. Number one insight that you can see here in Chosin. Sa mga tatalaga ng Panginoon, the Lord sees the heart of His people. Number two, anong nakita natin dito? God made you unique. Authentic. Nakita po natin dito, sabi ng Panginoon, <clears throat> kilala ka, ginawa kang unique. Wala kang katulad. Di ba? Alam mo bang sa 8 billion or 8 billion population ng tao, we have different fingerprints? Di ba? Wala kang magkakaparehas na fingerprint, even the even twins himself or, him, or dalawang twins, wala po magkakaparehas. We are made unique. We are made authentic. Makita po natin doon, <clears throat> Dito sa susunod sa 17, hindi ko binasa yung 1 Samuel 17. Noon po magkaroon ng kaaway, si Goliath, ito ba, kaaway ng Israelite. At si David ang nagpresenta para labanan ang Goliath na yan. Marami pong sinasabi si Saul. Ano? Ikaw na laban kay Goliath? Wala ka alam, batang bata ka pa. E si Goliath na yan, mula bata, warrior na yan. Di ba? Di ba yan ang sinasabi ko minsan sa atin? Wala ka lang. Sa 1 Saul 1733, Then David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fall because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to, against, to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth. In he, man of war from his youth. Itong si Goliath ito, sabi niya, mula pagkabata yan, warrior yan, ikaw, napakabata mo. God made you unique and authentic. Nakita po natin si David, nung ipasoto sa kanya yung armor. David refused to walk in someone's armor. Nung ipasupot sa kanya yung, well, ang bigat, sabi hindi ko kaya. Ayaw niyang gumamit ng gamit ang iba. Gusto niyang gamitin yung pagka-authentic niya, pagka-unit, pagka-unit niya. God has uniquely deposited something in you. Ang Panginoon siya mismo nag, naglagay ng pagka-unit sa iyo, mayroong dinuposito sa iyo ng ability ang Panginoon. Marami ang mga tao gustong sumakay para mag magbigay please kay Saul, kaya kagamitin nila yun. Di ba ba? Yung, uh, yung pinapasood kay David. Pero, some people will attempt not to, not to disrespect Saul anyway. Anyway, not realizing that trying to disrespect Saul, you are respecting your own anointing. Di ba? May sarili kang anointing na binigay ng Panginoon. Huwag mong iparis, huwag mong kumpira ang sarili mo sa iba. Stand in your anointing. Stand in your own anointing. God has not called you to do to walk in others' footsteps. Di ba? Ginawa kang Pastor Ronald. Ginawa kang Pastor Mark. Ginawa kang Pastor Japet. Hindi ka pwedeng si Pastor Mike. We are made unit. We are all, we are our own anointing from one another. Amen po ba? You are unique, you are authentic. You are made unique by God alone. Gamitin mo kapatid ang pagka-unit mo na yan. Because God has deposited something in you to be used for God. God is the heart. God made you unique. Number three, God is the source of your strength. Sa 17, makita po ninyo, Nung pumangta, pumangta ko si Goliath at sinalins niya ang Philistines, si David, si David po ang nagpresenta, he did not see David, ay he did not see Goliath as a big problem. 
David did not see the bigness of Goliath. He did not see the bigness of the problem. Because what he saw was the bigness of his God. Amen, Boba. He knows for the fact that God was the source of his strength. Darating po ang tayo mga kapatid sa ating pagiging pastor, sa ating pinapasturan. Darating mga malalaking problema para ang bitin natin kaya. But when we see that God is the source for strength, Siya po ang nagbibigay lahat. And most especially, the battle is the Lord. Di po ba? Ang battle po ay para sa Panginoon, hindi po sa atin. Marami pong pastor, We have witnessed many pastors kung minsan gusto po nilang bumigay. Mag, ayoko na. So ko na ako. But we have not chosen ourselves. From the very beginning, God has seen our heart. He has made us unique. And we must have to place in our heart that He is the strength. He is our strength. At Siya po ang atin. Siya po ang may dala ng laban. Ang laban natin kasama ang Panginoon. Sa pong babsak sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Pwede ito lang po kung iwan sa'yo sa hapon ito, sa mga, lalo na sa kapasturan. Una, love your flocks unconditionally. Hindi lang po yung nagmamahal sa atin ang ating mamahalin. Mahalin po natin yung hindi rin ka mahal-mahal maski yung ayaw sa atin. Ito ba? Kung minsan yung, gusto, yung may gusto lang sa atin ang gusto natin, di po ba? Love your flock, flock, flocks. Love your people unconditionally. Number two, lead people to Christ. Ilead po natin ang Panginoon sa Panginoon. Love, lead people to Christ. Paano natin lead people to Christ? Lead Christ by our examples. Alam mo bang maraming na, mar maraming bang nabubunagin sa pagtitinil lang sa'yo sa buhay mo sila rin ay sumusunod ka Kristo. So this is like a kind of like Like uh, Paul when he said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. So if you lead a life na nakatingin kay Panginoon, marami po may lead po tayo sa Panginoon. At ang number three, love, lead, and liberate. Through the word of God, we could liberate people. We could liberate by our preaching, our teaching. We could liberate people from sins. We could liberate people from the power of the darkness. Dahil sa ating preaching by the authority that was given to us, Lord God, being, being pastors of a church. So let us liberate people by preaching the word of God. Love, lead, and liberate. Hallelujah. Sambagsak sa Panginoon. Pure ng Panginoon. At uh, yan po ang aking encouragement sa akong ito. At uh, tayo po ay pupunta po sa installation proper. <coughs> so, uh, sa akong dito, the, uh, our main, kung bakit po tayo nandito lahat ay para po ipag, itatalaga po natin installation ang pastors ng JGGCM1 at saka JGCM2. Amen po ba? Amen. Are you excited this afternoon? Amen na tayo po ay magtatalaga ng mga kapastoran natin. Could I hear an amen? Amen! Ang mahili na. Amen! amen. <laughs> so, beloved in Christ, we have assembled here this afternoon for the purpose of instituting or installing our esteemed brothers, Pastor Ronald Gallam and Pastor Mark Gidonaldo as pastors of JJGCM1 and JJGCM2 respectively. Amen. We believe that their assignment to this congregation is of God and through the Holy Spirit we further now seek His blessing and His grace. Hindi ko po tayo po yung lahat tumayo. And uh, may I call a member of the uh, a member of the church council, Pastor Ray, Angana. By the authority vested in me as head pastor 
of Jehovah Jireh Global Church Ministries Incorporated in having been authorized by the church to install Pastor Ronald Gallang and Pastor Mark Guillonardo, our co-workers in the gospel as sector pastors. I now ask for verbal certification of this call from the church council, a member of the church council in the person of Pastor Ray. After prayerful deliberation, we, the Church Council of the Jaira Global Church Ministries, have called Pastor Ronald Galang, a sector pastor for GGGCM1, and Pastor Mark Gideon Nardo, a sector pastor for GGGCM2. Let me just have a reading of the word from John 20, 20, 21 to 23. John, from the book of John 20, 21 to 23. Sabi po sa John 20, 21 to 23 So Jesus said to them again Peace to you As the Father has sent me I also send you And when he had said this And when he had said this He prayed to them and he said Receive the Holy Spirit. Another reading of the word from Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Amen. 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 Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Are we all blessed this afternoon? Amen. So Matthew 8, 28, 18 to 20, it says here, and Jesus, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them Observe all things that I commanded you in law. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. In the last reading, we have 1 Timothy 4.12. 1 Timothy 4.12. Set the believers an example in a speech and conduct, in love, in faith, and purity till I come. Attend to the public reading of scripture, to preaching, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophetic utterance when the council of elders laid their hands upon you. Practice these duties. Devote yourself to them so that all may see you progress. Take it to yourself and to your teaching. Hold to that for by so doing, you save both yourself and your hearer. Ito po, ang sinabi ni Pablo, Pablo kay Timothy. 1 Timothy 4.12. Amen. Now, may I request uh, Pastor Ronald to stand up. We'll give the charge to Pastor Ronald. The Lord Jesus said, But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. For the Son of Man also came not to be served, but to serve, to give his life for the ransom of many. Pastor Ronald Gallam.
You have been set aside to serve and to be the sector pastor of JJGC of one. Now in the presence of God and this whole assembly of pastors and elders, it is necessary that you answer with the sincerity of heart the following questions that I'm going to ask of you. Do you believe in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Do you confess and have received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of your life? Yes, I do. Do you believe that you are called by God through this church to serve this congregation as sector pastor of JJCM1? Yes, I do. Will you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility and the confidence that it comes from God through the call of this church? Yes, I will commit my responsibility. Will you preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and the statements of faith and will carry out this ministry in harmony with the constitution and by laws of the GGCM Church? Yes, I will. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scripture and in your use of the means of grace? Yes. Will you love, serve, and pray for God's people, nourish them with the word, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? Yes, I will. Do you solemnly promise that by the assistance of the grace of God, you will endeavor to faithfully discharge the duties of which may fall you as Jesus in one pastor? And will you promise to be careful to maintain a godly example of life before God and man, and to otherwise conform to the vows of ordination? Yes, I promise. You have been called to preach and to teach the word of God, to baptize, to administer the holy sacraments and to shepherd the flocks of God, to properly execute your duties with all fidelity, decency, and spirituality in good sound judgment. Do you promise to serve this congregation faithfully along with the leadership of JGCM to fulfill the mandate of this church? Yes, I promise in the name of the Lord. Almighty God who has given you the will to do these things graciously give this strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. Pastor Mark. Pastor Mark Nardo. I'm talking here not as a father physically, but as your spiritual father. Pastor Mark Guillonardo. You have been set aside to serve into the sector pastor of JJGCM2. Now in the presence of God in this assembly, it is necessary that you answer with sincerity of heart the following questions like Pastor Ronald did. Do you likewise believe in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe. Do you confess and know Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of your life? Yes, I confess. Do you believe that you are called by God through this church to serve this congregation as sector pastor of JJCM1? Yes, I believe. Will you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility and the confidence that it comes from God through the call of this church? Yes, I will commit. Will you preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and the statement of faith of this church? and will carry out this ministry in harmony with the constitution and bylaws of the GGCM Church? Yes, I will. Will you, be will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and in your use, in, in your use of the means of the grace of God? Yes, I will. Will you love, serve, and pray for God's people, nourish them with the Word, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? Yes, I do. Do you solemnly promise that by the assistance of the grace of God, you will endeavor to faithfully discharge the duties which may fall to you as pastor of JGCM2? And will you promise to be careful to maintain a godly example of life before God in man and otherwise to conform to your vows of ordination as a pastor? Yes, I promise. You have been called to preach and to teach the word of God to baptize, to administer the holy sacraments, and to shepherd the flocks of God, 
to properly execute your duties with all fidelity, decency, spirituality, and good sound judgment. Do you promise to serve this congregation faithfully along with the leadership of GGCM to fulfill the mandate of this church? Yes, I promise. Almighty God was given you the will to do these things. Graciously give the strength and compassion to perform them. Pray for them all. Ito po para sa mga assembly who are here. Who are here this afternoon. May I, uh, may I ask you to, pick, to, to pastor to stand and face your assembly? The pick the uh, congregation. I charge you, people of God, just to face. I charge you, people of God, will you receive Pastor Ronald Gallam and Pastor Mark Gideonardo as a messenger of Jesus Christ sent to serve all people with the gospel of hope and salvation in regard to them as servants of Christ and as steward of the mysteries of God. Yes. 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 Will you pray for them, help and honor them for their work's sake, and in all things strive to live together in the peace and unity of Christ? Yes. 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 Do you promise to care for them and their family as your own? and to express concerns and even necessary criticism in a manner becoming people who belong to Christ, who belong to Jesus Christ. Yes, yes we promise. Pastor Ronald Gallam, the office of sector pastor for JGGCM1 is now committed to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Pastor Mark Gedionardo, the Office of Sector Pastor for JGCM2 is now committed to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Mag-face po kayo rito. Dalawa. I will declare blessing the later on. All will be laying hands on both of you as you kneel on the ground. But for this time, I'll uh, speak my blessing. The God of Peace who brought again Jesus from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything, and everything good that you may do to God's will, working in you that which is blessing in God's sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I request the two pastors to kneel and as we are going to test a worship then uh, I will be requesting all the pastors to come and lay hands to the two installed, newly installed ministers of Christ. And we will be praying for them. Lato ng kapastoran sa harap. So we lay our hands to them.
uwi sa Pilipinas. Pero bago pong lahat, ako may nagpapasalamat in behalf of the Church, Jehovah Jireh Global Church Ministries. Salamat po sa buhay nyo, Pastor Jolie, because you have given your life. Kayo po ay napakalaking blessing po sa Church ng GGCM. Pero alam mo naman po namin, hindi po nang tatakos yan sa Qatar lang yan. And the Philippines will be seeing each other again. At sa buhay po ni Pastor Ed, salamat po sa kanyang buhay. Nakita po natin that he has given his life for Christ likewise. And hindi po ito ang huli natin pakikita. God has a greater purpose for us sa mga darating na panahon. So, Pastor Ray, ikaw na po ang nakahatang ipagpray ang dalawa. Amen po ba? Pakita natin ito. Sige po, can I request the two pastors, Pastor Julie and Pastor Ed, to please come to the front. And by the way, congratulations to Pastor Ronald and to Pastor Mark as our new sectoral pastors. And ganon din po. Can we request all the pastors to bumalik po tayo sa harapan and as we utter the blessings to our new sectors pastors? I think the same that we are going to do also for our. Pastors Julie and Pastor Ed, who will be leaving, will be going back to the Philippines. No, so again, we are just as what Pastor Long said that the church, the GGGM Church, has really recognized Pastor Julie what you have done sa gawain po ng Panginoon. I think for 13 years, 14. Here in Qatar, 12 pa na ito. Sumubra pala yung istingit ko. Anyway, and kay Pastor Ed, although two years, no? And we're still looking if the Lord will retain him in Qatar. But just the same, ipapanalangin ko po namin kayo, na? Whether whether you will be here in Qatar or in the Philippines, you know that God uh, will mightily use your lives for His glory. Amen. Amen po ba? So, bago po kami, bago po kami ipanalangin, gusto ko lang po i-share sa iyo ang salita ng Panginoon, which is found in Psalm 121 verse 8. Ang sabi ng salita ng Panginoon, The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time for." And even for and even forevermore. So, kung paano po kayo dinala ng Panginoon sa lugar ng Qatar, I I believe that He will preserve you, even you you will be in the Philippines. And I know na alam ko po na sa ngayon palang yung mga isipan yung ay puno na kung paano kayo magtatayo ng negosyo, no? Pero alam ko may may gagawin ng Panginoon higit sa inyong mga buhay. Amen? And in Deuteronomy 28, 1-3, just to remind you, I believe this is a favorite verse to all of us. Ang sabi ng Lord na, If you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all His commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. And in verse 3, it says, Blessed you be in the city, and blessed you be in the country. Amen? Amen. So be, whether you be in Qatar or in the Philippines, no, let us always acknowledge that the blessings will always fall upon, upon us. Amen? Amen? So, shall we give a clap of offering po sa ating dalawang uh, mayigiting na mga pastor? Ang taas na sa ating mga, mga kamay sa kanila. And uh, tayo po'y manalangin. Hallelujah, Lord. Purihin ka, Diyos, ang bahay ng dakila mong pangalan. And uh, we thank you, God, because uh, you are a God that always uh, be with us, Father God, that always in our sight, Father God. At maraming salamat o Panginoon sa mga sandaling ito, Father God. Although... Mayroong masakit, Father God, na 
We will see our fellow pastors, Father God, our comrades in uh, in the service of your kingdom, O Lord, na sila po ay alis sa lugar na ito, Father God. And yet, Father God, we know, Lord, that you have a better plans for them, O Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, and thank you, Lord, for the many years, Father God, that uh, ang dalawang pastor na ito, Panginoon, ay kasama namin, Panginoon, sa iyong gawain, O Lord. At, uh, Lord, I pray, Father God, na sabi ng iyong mga salita, Panginoon, ayon sa iyong mga pangako, Father God, that you will never leave them, Father God, nor forsake them, Father God. Lord, we pray, Father God, that just as you have blessed them in this country, Father God, Qatar, ganun din po ang panalangin naman, Panginoon, that you will bless them, Father God, with you will back in the Philippines, Father God. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon, and uh, Lord, we pray, Father God, whatever uh, plans, O oh Lord, that they will uh, uh, going to do, Father God, Lord, higit sa lahat, Father God, continue to use their lives mightily, Father God, in bringing, Father God, the lost people to, the, to your fold, Father God. Use them mightily, Father God, kung gaano po sila kasing-kasing, Father God, na uh, uh, ginamit yung kanilang buhay, Father God, na maglingkod sa iglesia, Father God, dito sa Qatar, Father God. It is our prayer, O Lord, that you will use them mightily, Father God, doon sa Pilipinas, Father God. Lord, we pray that this... Uh, that these pastors, Father God, will be used, Father God, to establish, Father God, even extend this church, Father God, in our home country, Father God. Salamat, Panginoon, and we pray, Father God, for your protection, O Lord, continue to cover them, O Lord, with the blood of Jesus Christ, Father God, magiging ang, magiging ang kanilang mga pamilya, Father God, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon, and uh, Lord, we, we continue, Father God, to acknowledge, O Lord, that all blessings, O Lord, that will full the, the they upon them, Father God, will come from you, O Lord. Salamat po. Salamat po, Ama. We honor you. We continue to to bless you, Father God. To magnify and exalt your name. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We praise God for the very successful um, celebration of installing our new sector pastors and we would like to congratulate once again Amen. Pastor Mark and Pastor Ronald for leading the flag of Wadi and JGGCM1 um, um, respectively. And this is not goodbye but we will see you around Pastor Julie and Pastor Ed. So let us bow down our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge your presence, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Truly, God, you are a faithful God, Lord God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love never ceases, Lord God, sa bawat mga anak po. Lord, panalangin namin, Lord God, as we close this service tonight, Panginoon. We lift up to you the lives of Pastor Mark and Pastor Ronald, Lord God, as you have mandated to them to lead the flock that you have chosen, Panginoon. Panalangin namin is that you continuously cover them with protection. Let the love that comes from you overflow in their hearts, that the compassion for the lost will always be there. Ignite the fire and rekindle it every time it loses um, light, Panginoon. Patuloy mo silang i-strengthen, Lord God, sa kanilang buhay. Lord, we also lift up to you our dear pastors, Pastor Ed and Pastor Julie Pineon. Lord, you are a generous God. And blessings, Lord God, does not contain and happen only in here in Doha. We know, Father, that as they step beyond the boundaries of Doha, Panginoon, great and mighty are your plans for them, Lord God. Yes, Lord. And that you will bless them wherever they will go, Panginoon. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord. We also lift up to you, Lord the entire congregation of Jehovah Jireh Global Church Ministries. Our prayer, Lord God, is that the people that you have um, entrusted to us, Lord God, to take care of, Lord God, will continuously hunger and thirst for your word, Panginoon. That we will just be um, not hearers, but doers of your word. That in everything, Father, you will always be, uh, we will always seek 
for your plans, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord, and as we depart from this place, let your um, double portion of anointing be upon each of us, Father. And Lord, bless our lives, and may we glorify you in everything that we will do. Thank you, Father. We honor you, we love you, and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.